I'm Fahim Sandhu. I'm a professor of neurosurgery and director of neurosurgery at uh, MedStar Georgetown University Hospital. Um, my practice is focused on adult degenerative conditions of the spine, and I uh, also specialize in minimally invasive uh, procedures uh, to treat these disorders of the spine. I'm looking for a material that uh, one, doesn't have a lot of side effects, two, you know, gives maximal uh, fusion and is reliable, reproducible uh, every time I use it. I'm someone who really needs to see the basic science before I switch and use something and when I saw the preclinical uh, data, the animal studies on Kuros, it was very compelling. The Magnetos uh, fusion was identical to the autograft bone fusion side. They looked, uh, there was solid bone formation uh, and robust bone formation on both sides. It, they were almost indistinguishable and the seeing is believing in terms of uh, the fusion. Now, Project Fusion is a comprehensive look at uh, all this evidence that supports uh, Magnetos uh, use in clinical settings. There are a number of uh, prospective uh, level one studies being conducted uh, comparing Magnetos to autograph bone, which is the gold standard. I started using it about three years ago and I've been very pleased that uh, the results have matched uh, what, uh, what I saw. I've seen excellent uh, fusion results and uh, I have a, a number of patients that are now uh, more than one year out from from long fusion constructs, and I've seen uh, CT scans that show uh, excellent fusion uh, throughout the construct. I, I had one case in particular that was very uh, challenging. It was a lady with uh, uh, hemivertebrae and had some uh, had a tethered cord uh, type presentation due to uh, the deformity in her spine. Uh, so I did a thoracolumbar fusion on her, and you know her bony anatomy was a little. Uh, altered because of this was a congenital defect and so you know having a reliable fusion was uh, you know something I was concerned about so I did her surgery it went fine about six weeks afterwards uh, she developed uh, a seroma at the site of the the surgery and, and it was fluid collection we saw it on CT scan uh, uh, there were no signs of infection but I, I it was, she was experiencing a lot of uh, discomfort due to muscle uh, stretching, so I took her back to the operating room, washed out this seroma, which turned out to be a sterile seroma. But uh, at the time, I was able to inspect the fusion mass, uh, which you know I was thinking I would have to reinforce. Uh, but even at six weeks, the magnetos uh, material had solidified. It was. Uh, literally rock hard and I could not you know chip away at it and uh, it was very very nice to see that but so early uh, after surgery it was only six weeks so it was uh, very uh, very interesting and uh, reassuring uh, as well. I recommend Magnetos to my colleagues uh, because I found it to be extremely reliable and uh, reproducible and I, I've shown them pictures and uh, discussed cases uh, that demonstrate the fusion in, in various settings and, and the response I've received from my colleagues has been very positive and most of them are uh, very intrigued and I usually get a wow that's, uh, that's pretty, pretty impressive uh, fusion uh, based on the time frame and the, the setting of the, the fusion.